Hello friends, the question is like this. By using the properties of definite integral, evaluate the integral sin square x dx from the limit minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. So let us see how we are going to solve this question. Okay, so we have been given sin square dx from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. When we have been given a function having the limits in this style or fashion or order that is minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Okay, then we have a property which is related to such type of limit. Okay, so first of all we assume that this integral is equal to i and the property is like this fx dx from minus a to a okay is equal to twice fx dx from 0 to a when when fx is an even function so fx is an even function you can write this function as equal to twice 0 to a fx dx okay and if fx was an odd function then this would have been equal to 0 so here I'm, I've given sine square x as an even function so I'm not discussing the uh, the condition which is related to the function when it is odd okay so but how we can say that sine square is an even function we should also justify that sine square is an even function we should also prove we should also uh, explain that why how we can apply this property so first of all we take fx is equal to sine square x okay now if we calculate f of minus x so this will be equal to sine square of minus x or this can be written as minus sine x whole square sine of minus theta is equal to minus sine theta whole square is equal to sine square x so the function is fx is such that f of x and f of minus fx both are equal okay fx is equal to sine square x f of minus x is also equal to sine square x so this gives that fx is an even function okay so fx is an even function so I can apply this property and write i as equal to twice 0 to pi by 2 sine square x dx okay so lower limit becomes 0 the problem looks a little bit lighter now now we are going to apply another property now first of all we mark this as equation number one and the next property which we are going to apply is this that fx dx from 0 to a is equal to f of a minus x from 0 to a with this and dx is always going to be there and this property is a universal property it can be applied to any function whenever we want okay so no problem about the application of this property but it should work we apply only when it works if it is not going to work we are not going to apply okay so applying this property I can write this as equal to sine square pi by 2, uh, two sine square pi by 2 minus x dx and this is going to become cos square x because sine 90 minus theta is equal to cos theta square so I get cos square x now I mark this as equation number 2 and next thing what I'm going to do yes you got it right we are going to add both the equations equation number 1 and equation number 2 so I get 2i is equal to twice sine square x dx from 0 to pi by 2 and twice cos square x dx from 0 to pi by 2 okay so this can be written as twice 0 to pi by 2 sine square x plus cos square x dx okay so continuing further I know what you are going to say we can write sine square x plus cos square x is equal to 1 okay so I get this 2 and 2 cancels out so I get i as equal to 1 dx from 0 to pi by 2 now the problem becomes a cakewalk and it becomes integration of 1 is x limit 0 to pi by 2 so this will be equal to pi by 2 minus 0 so I can write i as equal to pi by 2 which is my required answer so that's how I'm going to solve this question to watch more of these super videos and for the latest update subscribe and like the videos on these YouTube channels HSK Shiksha and Maths Help by HSK. Thank you.